let's try it out so we're going to do set category and then we're going to call this set category let's say in your constructor we're going to call this set category so we're going to do this dot store dot set category and we're going to do this dot category the value of the category here now once we save this we're still going to see that our products actually don't get filtered and that is because this function is not reactive so this is a simple function this is simple for cases where you want to update stuff one time but for reactive changes where we want to sync different values so we want to sync this category at all times with the category inside of the store we use the signal method or the rx method as i said before so in this case it is very simple to use the signal method so we are going to switch this set category to actually be a signal method okay and we're going to take in a string here as an input and we are just going to do a patch state and in patch state we are going to do essentially the same thing but now if you're gonna do set category we can also send in the signal itself here like this that means that any changes to this are going to get automatically propagated to our store you'll see that when we change our category through the root url it's going to update the store and it's going to update our products as well so that means the whole flow is working really nicely